On July 10th, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella unveiled Microsoft 365, which brings together Office 365, Windows 10, and Enterprise Mobility and Security, delivering a complete, intelligent, and secure solution to empower employees. Microsoft 365 Enterprise is designed for large organizations and integrates Office 365 Enterprise, Windows 10 Enterprise, and Enterprise Mobility and Security to empower employees to be creative and work together securely. It is offered in two plans, Microsoft 365 E3 and Microsoft 365 E5. Many of you knew these plans by their former name, Secure Productive Enterprise E3 and Secure Productive Enterprise E5. Microsoft 365 Business is designed for smaller companies. It's designed to empower your team, safeguard your business, and simplify IT management with a single solution. It includes three tailored business apps that are designed to help small business owners. More on that in a moment. Microsoft 365 Business should be available for public preview by the time you're watching this video. For all the details on Microsoft 365, follow the links in the July 10th Office blog post or visit the URL listed on the screen. The new business apps that will be included in Microsoft 365 Business are rolling out now in preview to Office 365 Business Premium subscribers in the US, the UK, and Canada. They are Microsoft Connections, which enables you to create and track great looking email marketing campaigns. Microsoft Listings, which makes it easy to publish and manage your business listings on Facebook, Google, Bing, and Yelp. And Microsoft Invoicing, which helps you create professional looking estimates and invoices to ensure you get paid quickly. The new Office 365 Business Center brings Microsoft Connections, Listings, and invoicing together in a central location so you have easy access to your business apps and data. It features a unified dashboard where you can view key metrics from all the business apps, including total outstanding invoices, the impressions across Facebook, Google, Bing, and Yelp, and the number of new subscribers and sent campaigns. Be sure to check out the great FAQ section in the July 10th Office blog post for additional details.